I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Jeff Purick. He is president and CEO at TELUS International. Jeff, wonderful to see you again two years later. Wonderful to be seen <laughs> two years later, this time in person. <laughs> this time in person. So last time we did speak, it was right after your IPO. It was during the pandemic. So tell me what's been going on with the company two years later. Tell me some of the highlights. Well, we've had one or two things on the go. We've added 25,000 team members to our business. Wow. In the last two years, <laughs> we grew revenues by $900 million just in the last two years from 1.6 to 2.5 billion. We transformed some of the things we do for our clients and now added pretty exciting AI data annotation capabilities, which are quite topical these days. Uh, and perhaps most excitingly for me, I spent 15 years on the road, traveling 250 days a year, visiting our team members around the world. And for two years, I was locked up in my home office like a caged animal. And I finally got to get back out on the road and participate in our days of giving around the world, Philippines, Guatemala, and El Salvador in particular last fall. And it was so wonderful to be back in the field with our team members. Oh yes, I can appreciate that. And you've been a very busy man these past two years. So now Jeff, tell me, how are you helping your clients navigate this challenging recessionary time? So what we do and how we do what we do at TELUS International is not unique to today's environment. We've always been around to leverage our scale, our investments in infrastructure, talent and technology to help our business customers do better, not just more with less but that capability becomes that much more meaningful in pressurized environments like these current inflationary, recessionary, uncertain geopolitical times and leveraging our competencies to help them navigate these challenging environments, turning their fixed costs into variable costs by working with our talented team rather than having to employ them themselves, leveraging our expertise and experience in technology I think is really how we've seen significant opportunity to continue to grow our business and help our clients. So we have been hearing about, you know, many leaps in technology like chat GBT, chat GPT, we'll get that straight, and the metaverse. So tell me, are these and other technologies, are they a part of your offerings? Um, what kind of opportunities do you see these generating for your brand? Yeah, so it's funny how fast GPT went from nothing to everything in terms of media attention and their launch last November. Generative AI, which is what ChatGPT is, has been around for several years. Um, and Meta has their own equivalent called Peer. Google has had multiple equivalents, whether it was Lambda or Palm. Um, I think what OpenAI did was really capture the zeitgeist uh, and some very slick, smart, timely, creative marketing. And then goodness, with Microsoft coming in and you know, investing $10 billion and giving them a pretty robust valuation, not entirely surprising to hear everybody talking about them. We've been working with generative AI at TELUS International for many years now. We have both proprietary versions and leveraging other technologies, particularly Google's, but not exclusively. What ChatGPT has done though, I think, is really taken what is exciting a new natural language processing and wrapping it around a meaningfully sized database of information up to 2021, and all of a sudden give access to that database of information in a way that sounds like no other robotic process interaction ever. So this interface is talking to you like your kids would like your neighbor might. And all of a sudden it has this ring of authenticity and accessibility that is revolutionizing how people are now thinking about how AI may be more mainstream than I think many of us appreciated. But interestingly, one of the headlines not long ago was, chat GPT has an IQ of 87. And if you really just put your back into it a little bit, you find out how quickly its knowledge base is quite constrained mm -hmm. and Bard from Google, for example, which had a bit of a bump in the road when they had their launch last week, the database data set that they use to create that generative AI is 
exponentially bigger, more robust than ChatGPT, but they missed the timing, I think. Six months from now, will we still be talking about ChatGPT? We'll see, but we'll certainly still be talking about generative AI. And at TELUS International, we are already using this capability to build better bots, to deliver better user experiences for our business customers and their end user community. And the metaverse is yet another area that's been getting lots of headlines for longer than just the last six months, certainly since Meta, Facebook decided to pivot and you know, go all in on the metaverse. We already participate in that ecosystem broadly and more narrowly. We're using a metaverse of our own to recruit our team members. We got 1.1 million applicants at TI last year alone and using a metaverse to make it easier for them to uh, apply for jobs, for them to submit their resumes, to meet with recruiters, for we to evaluate their job skills and match their job skills to the requirements. We're doing more and more with AI in the metaverse to help our customers deliver trusted, reliable, predictable experiences for their customers. All right, well, Jeff, let's not wait another two years. Let's catch Deal. up before then. <laughs> I will be back as soon as you invite me. You had me in hello. All right, well, thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. My pleasure, Judy.